happy morning everybody let's start with superb story session a session it makes us thought leader it makes us think and makes us understand a lot of life skills and life values from simple and fun stories this is a story of a crow this crow didn't like his feathers is it that dark they're plain no fun about it. what what's this it's so black in fact it is so jet black didn't like it and in fact because of its feather it started hating itself hating himself others who say uh, there's nothing wrong in it you like it this is how you have been created all the advice came but somewhere it had gone deep into this uh, this crow's mind that black is not good i don't like it and i didn't like my feathers so boring so dull no nothing so big deal about it it's so it's in fact so vague at least it could have one more color then one day it starts uh, the the crow sees some peacocks ah now that's an interesting fair interesting bird take a look at it and so many colors and all the thing and would starts to imagine how it would be having so many beautiful and saw oh, it's so attractive wow everybody will look at me if i am like that so the crow goes to uh, where all the peacocks are there and find some uh, few uh, feathers feathers lying on this thing when peacocks actually when they shed they shed sometimes okay and he found some uh, feathers stuck it to the body poked it put it nicely and all the other things and decorated itself with all the uh, peacock feathers and wanted to go and mingle with peacocks and all the things peacock didn't take much of a time they quickly realized that this guy is phony he's fake he's fake they told him uh, well, what is this? and this is, some started to poke at him they get out get out who are you you're not part of us and why are you doing this and all the other things and uh, started uh, Uh, this thing shouting at the this thing and this crow was dejected feeling bad that what is this you know i'm looking like them and still these guys are not accepting me and all that and with those feathers stuck and pasted and all that went to its own crow crows they started laughing what is wrong with you <laughs> what are you doing and they started laughing and uh, some were concerned but majority of them were laughing they were also poking at him they really what is wrong with you what, what are you looking at and all the things so this is the story of a crow who wanted to be a peacock couldn't become any one of them so this story can go in two ways and in fact actually you guys are all thought leaders and this story can go in many many different ways yeah there is balloons coming up right yes oh confetti <laughs> what doll is falling nice <laughs> so this story can go in various ways you guys are all thought leaders let's see how does the story so let's first build the story how will it happen what goes what happens to the crow you can unmute and start sharing your stories so one uh, it would still have the courage and uh, maybe accept himself as crow and then uh, go to pick up get mingle with them as a crow and not as a peacock okay uh, actually ekanta sorry ekta coach we didn't hear it clearly to begin with in the start could you repeat that again i got the good part one ending would be one ending that would be like uh, it will accept itself as a crow and uh, go mingle with the peacocks as a crow make them as friends as a crow okay. and not as a peacock oh okay one ending nice ending in this the crow will finally accept that i am a crow and this is what is how i am and will go with a uh, go and meet peacock and being be, uh, and being be friends with peacock and all that this is what i am correct isn't it yes nice nice ending any other endings coach yes good like ekta coach said it will accept itself it will be happy with itself that it, at least it has feathers at least it can okay. fly at least it it has feathers and some birds don't some birds can't fly 
Okay. So at least it has feathers and it can fly. Even though it's black, even though it's plain, it has feathers. So it'll accept itself. It'll be, it'll have gratitude that, yes, I have feathers. And then it'll either mingle with peacocks or it'll stay with own, uh, stay with their own group. Stay with their own group. Wonderful. Yeah, peacock, uh, sorry, the crow will be grateful that at least I have some feathers, whatever it is, the black or whatever it is, I can fly. There are many flightless birds too. Wonderful, Ekta. Nice. Great answer by Ekta Coach. Anybody else? Rashmi, do you want to add anything? Coach? Yeah? Coach, you should love yourself. If there is if, if your skin is black or brown, love yourself. Yeah. Your skin is black or brown. You please love yourself. Wonderful. Very nice, Siddhi. Becoming a wise leader every single day participating. So nice. Yes. Uh, instead of uh, having an outer layer, the peacocks have seen what he what he's a lying. Uh, he has a lying personality. So instead of having that, he'd uh, have a he would uh, think about that and have a, a truth. He he would accept the truth that he is a crow, and then he would come go back to the peacock so that uh, like uh, so that he can again uh, what is it? He can uh, ready himself. Oh, okay. So, Yashmith yeah, says that uh, uh, basically it will uh, has a kind of a lying personality, the personality of a person who lies. But uh, very soon he'll realize that it is uh, the color, its color is black and it'll redeem itself. Tell him itself that yes, this is what exactly I have been made and will finally accept it. But yes, initially he says it's a lying personality. Yes. Yeah, that's also one more view, one more angle. Come on, some more. May I? <clears throat> yes, Raghavan, sir. Good to have you. There are many things one can come up from this small episode. One is your color don't decide you. Your color doesn't decide you. So nice. Number one. Number two, God has given every creature some strengths and good points. So find out what are those good points. Try to grow through those strengths and through those good points. True. Third point My... is be with your clan. You will be most happy there. That's all. Be with your clan. Be with your people. You will be most happy there. And God has blessed us with any way, with something or the other which is very uh, which is already special to you. Yes. What else? Right now, we are still doing the story can go in which way. Yeah, story can go in which way. There are a few ways. Uh, already, I you guys are amazing. All of you are so beautiful. You have already gone into the lessons. Story, we are seeing the story can go in different, different ways. Nice. It's a mixed way happening. Good. Coach. Yeah. Coach, we have to feel in gratitude and bless what we have, Coach. Everybody is unique, but uh, we are not realizing uh, others may like the thing within us, what we have in us, but uh, sometimes we we may not we fail to realize what the thing we have. Be grateful. Be grateful. Realize that you are unique, and yeah. uh, we fail yeah. to what it is. We fail to realize. Yes, we all are unique by itself. Oh, Give me some. Where the story can go. What happened? Give me one more. Okay. I'll give you one. All of you are such an amazing thought. Yeah, somebody was saying something. Who is that? Coach, believe in yourself. Guys, believe in yourself. Don't right. compare others. Don't compare with others. 
Yeah. One more view I'll give you. <coughs> the pro. Guys, mute your mic here. Gayatri, Pananga. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hmm. One more view I would like to add is let's say it happens. <clears throat> this is also happening that the person the person doesn't accept the crow doesn't accept that it's crow the crow wants to be a peacock and not able to accept it hates itself so much that doesn't want to live the life of fake life lives a life which is not true by itself and where do you think that will lead it will lead finally the crow wanted to be depressed because as raghavan sir said that uh, the part you are, they can't accept you. You want to be something. Let us go to one or a wonderful scenario. Okay, now let's see. There are some kind of a children. There are in a school. Let's go to a school. School number. There are children who are cool kids. There are cool kids, right? They we see them. Oh, they are so cool. I want to be like them. They hang around. They have the best of the other thing. There are studious kids. There are kids who study. Uh, the cool kids are thinking, I want to be like that. The studious kids are thinking, I want to be like that. Uh, there are kids who are, uh, they, think they, they, they are uh, maybe ritualistic or spiritualistic. They want to be like studious or they want to be like the cool kids. They want to be some like this, some like this. There are some kids who are not sure what they want to be. So it starts very early in this thing. Anik. Anik. Right? Yeah. Yashmit is blessed. Yashmit is talented. Yashmit is unique. Why you have to set that benchmark? You have to see, I scored this much, I need to score that. None of your teachers will ever tell you, yeah, keep your benchmark that you have to beat Anik. Has anybody told you that? Huh? Then they are not the greatest of teachers. They, would, they should say, that yes, yes, you can do this much, but this is where you can do, isn't it? Correct, Yukta. You should start believing that there is something amazing about yourself. Work on yourself. Be the best, rather than wanting to get accepted by anybody and everybody. It will give you some temporary pleasure. Yeah, I have this wonderful peacock feathers. But that is not the reality. That is not who you are. Eventually, you end up losing your own self. Isn't it? Yeah. You get obsessed with the thought. Yashmit, aren't you obsessed with the thought? Yeah. Yukta, aren't you obsessed with some thoughts? That my friends are like this, they are like that, and I want to be like this. They hang around, they do all that. Yeah, I want to have fun with them and all that. Please. Any of those paths you take, not gonna this thing. If you are a crow, accept that you are a crow. And Yukta, as you said in your own words, be grateful. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for what you have. And if you want to be, if you want to tear why to be something else sooner or later, you will realize that it's not a great fit. Isn't it? Yeah. See that you can become a better version of yourself. Go with it. <laughs> Yesterday's story, you remember? The newspaper. This is this. First you fix yourself, you fix the world. Work on only fixing yourself. Work on only how you can become the better, better version of yourself. Comparison is never ever a great idea. There are two fruits. There are two fruits. Apple and oranges. They both are fruits. Correct, Yashmit? Preeti? They both are fruits. Fruits, correct? Oh, they both are fruits. Which is better? Can we compare like that? Yukta, can we compare like that? Siddhi, can we compare? No, this is orange, this is apple. They both are fruits. Can we do that? No, apple has got different properties altogether. Or in fact, by the way, did you guys take a look next time? Be very careful. When you see 
you will not find two apples the same they look different the shape is different the shades of red is different the taste is different the weight is different two apples go and buy a dozen of apples and see if one also comes close to it they will not even come close to it so why two blades of grass take a look at grass there are trillions of grasses take two you still can't find when god has created you as lovable capable and valuable please do not use your intellect for sitting and comparing with anybody anik has got his own life you work on how you can become the best become indestructible become focused isn't it yeah one day you're going to laugh about it ah oh, it was crazy i have my own life journey thinking about anik does it make you feel good or make you feel bad bad when you are in a lower state of mind when you are in an unresourceful state of mind kya karoge yeah take a look at your score yes i am here fine but i can go there that's a resourceful state yukta think about it what do you have you need to be grateful the world will cherish you praise you and do great things to stuck with small small tiny things and not understanding what you have not happy with what you have okay 621 let's get into our meditation and all that yes vajrasana jan mudra yes yes when you come after quite some time you can just maybe open your eyes and see sometimes okay yeah you know the drill but yeah ready let's begin from now close your eyes focus on your breathing when you focus in the breathing you come in the here and now you are no more worried about the future you are not worked up about your past you are in the present in out in out relax your mind Let's do alternate nasal breathing. Twenty of them, left in, right out, right in, left out. Let's do B breathing. Six of them. Hum. Um. Hum. 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 ha ha 
Can you keep your eyes closed? Let's do our energizer. We'll start with a slow round. Then we'll take it to high speed, high round. High speed, high intensity, high energy. Let's start 30 of them. Feel the energy soar within you. Lock your arms. Let's begin with gratitude. Thank yourself that you are lovable. You are capable. You are valuable. Thank yourself you are, that you are a superb human. Thank yourself that you are most amazing. You are most awesome. You believe in yourself. You believe in your gifts, the talents, the blessing that you have. You believe in what great things are going with you. You believe in working on only and only yourself. Yes. And God has created you as a unique person. Yes, it's sin to compare. Thank yourself for this wonderful belief. Thank your all the external parts, all the internal part of the body. Thank your heart keeps going on and on and on. Thank your mind. You have such a wonderful, amazing mind. All the brain, all the neurons, everybody. Thank the still lovely souls. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Mom. So blessed to have you both. Thank you, Gurus, teachers, mentors, trainers, coaches for being imbibing this wonderful value that you are unique. You're one of a kind. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for such wonderful belief that we have. Thank you, family members. Thank you, Asta. Thank you, Tej. I'm so blessed to have you both in my life. Thank all your years and years, your friends, your relatives, everybody who helps you to find the uniqueness within you. Yes. Makes you feel that, yes, you are a special person. And you need to work on yourself to become extra special. Thank you for having such wonderful people around you. Entire humanity. Thank you, Mother Nature. Mother Nature teaches us a wonderful value. We are part of Mother Nature. We are not about Mother Nature. And Mother Nature, every single thing, even two stones can't look the same. Yes. So amazing. It is two grains of rice cannot look the same. Look under the microscope, you will see there is lots of differences. Two grains of rice will look different. Yes, thank you, Mother Nature, for teaching us this wonderful value. Thank you, God. Thank you, Almighty. Thank you, Supreme Soul, Supreme Intelligent and Universe. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me a wonderful soul, a soul which is unique, which is lovable, capable, and valuable. Thank you, soul. Thank you for giving me such a wonderful soul which has a mission, mission, and a purpose. Now that we have completed the gratitude, visualize a beam of white light traveling from the universe, coming for us, enters our head, our face, our shoulders, our chest, our abdomen. Our thighs, a calf, was head to toe, toe to head. This white light has penetrated every single cell of our body. We are now revitalized, re-energized, revitalized. All the negativity leaving our body, all our negativity leaving our mind, our toxins are leaving. We are now rejuvenated, revitalized, re-energized, rejoicing with all the gifts and talents that we have. Yes. Now that we have done the visualization, as well as that if they've got the blessings and you come with gratitude. 30 seconds of complete silence, visualize your goals, your purpose. And you will be soon realizing it is just about you, you and only you. Yes, making a greater impact on the world. Start visualizing your goals now. Visualizing your goals, your purpose on a daily basis keeps you focused, doesn't allow you to get distracted. You keep moving towards your mission and vision. Yes. Slowly let go of your hands. Yeah. Now that we have done our declaration, 
Let us, now it's time to do our declaration. We have completed our goals. This declaration will fuel us, energize us to move towards our goals and purposes. I am a champion. I am a champion. I'm lovable. I'm valuable. I'm one of a kind. I am unique. I am unique. I believe in myself. I work on only me, myself, and only me. I work on only me, myself, and only me. I fix myself. Fix myself. I believe for things to change, I must change first. I believe for things to change, I must change first. I am blessed. I am blessed. I'm truly blessed. I'm truly blessed. I'm awesome. Awesome. I'm amazing. I'm, I'm fantastic. I'm healthy. Healthy. Wealthy. Healthy. Intelligent. Healthy. Smart. Spiritual. Fantastic. Oh, we still have left, I think. Okay. Something happened. Okay, wonderful. So have a wonderful day. Live purposefully, live powerfully. You are a superb human. Stay blessed. Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Sachin and I am a life coach. I use games, activities and exercises to teach young champions valuable life skills and study skills which help them become number one in studies and number one in life. Continue to watch our videos, share them, subscribe to our channel and please do comment. It will help us and inspire us to make more good content like this. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Also do visit our website. Thank you so much.